Right, hi, how y'all doing? Um, my last blog post, I put some pictures on of old work because I've been having some work done in the house, so I've been moving things to safer places. And this is one of the things. Um, and it's not that I forget I've got these, I just don't really look at them. Uh, well, I don't look at them every day, obviously, because you don't, do you? But so I, I, I saw this again, I didn't find it because it wasn't lost, but I saw it again. And I look through it at the samples that are in it and I just fall in love with things all over again um, when I do this. So what I thought was I've got some more samples here that need to go in here. The, again these are newly discovered, not newly discovered but I knew I had them but they weren't doing anything, they were in a box. So I was thinking I could put them in here and these ones are just pinned in and I pinned them in for a reason and the reason being so they'd be movable as and when I make more so that's a good thing so I'm just gonna pin these ones in there's a little one down here and um, sometimes when I make something like this I think well I'm not putting it there because I don't want to cover that bit and this is a bit of a case in point here but it's also got like a, a thing under there so I could maybe pin this one up here. So I just thought I would pin them with you. It would give me an excuse to pin them and then they're done. And also give me a little chance to chat to you. So I've not got a lot to say to be fair. I'm just fed up with COVID and restrictions and lockdowns and being told every five minutes what I can and can't do. And But then I guess we all are. So, so that's that one pinned in. And I'll sometimes look at these and think well that's a good idea to do on maybe something I'm working on now and um, so they are really useful to have these things this is a big one um, and then over here I've got this one this is another big one because of the edge so I'm, I'm really struggling a bit here for room although of course I could that one could actually pin there and it would conceal the reverse of that although to be honest with you that's not really a hideous reverse it's quite acceptable but I'll go pin it through your finger Karen so a worthwhile exercise for me and just a little chance for me to to have a chat um, so that will go there this one I really like this one well I really like all of them but this one especially I like these little sequins and if I was wondering where all my lace had gone, there's my answer. It's all one of these samples, edging these samples. So this one, that's that needs to be pressed down. That it's been folded under. I have to be more careful. But this one, again, there's another. I made this specifically to mount samples in. So that's why I added all these little. I don't know what you call them. These little pieces that would take pins for pinning on the samples so that's I'm glad I've done that and I'm glad that I've had a chance to revisit this because it is quite pretty um, and I've just noticed these things on the edge these I love these I buy those when I go to London they're really expensive but they have look like crochet balls um, and I guard them like gold dust. I've got a little tub with some in and I'm loath to use them because they're so precious. I'm going to unpin that one and press that lace I think today at some point. So there my little sample book just got a little bit more attention uh, which I'm very pleased about because it's freed these up out of that box and they've got a more fitting place to live now. So that's that little book. Uh, and it ties, well it's not little actually, it ties with this double ribbon but although it doesn't ever need, doesn't ever fall undone really because I lay it flat, it's laid flat on a shelf with a lot more other things like this so there, I'm glad I did that very good, so it was nice to say hi um, and I'm going to say hang in there but I need to tell myself that as well as you because I'm really not hanging in there very well at all to be honest with you um, thank goodness for embroidery what would we do eh? 